Well, hey folks, today I would like to discuss a new 3D printed solar filter and case assembly I found online and used it on uh, the ZWO Seastar S50. So the solar filter that I'm referring to is the Astro Essentials solar filter found on the First Light Optics website. And of course, a link will be provided in the, this video's uh, video description section. So let me provide a bit of backstory here. Um, I started using the Sea Star uh, from last November. I rather appreciate that it comes with essentially everything you need, including a solar filter. Um, however, in the past, with some of my other uh, telescopes, I've used Bader uh, film solar filters in the past, and really I was thrilled to find this uh, nice filter and case assembly. So the, on the left here, you see the uh, dust cover uh, that, that's typical of what you can find online uh, compared to this uh, Astro Essentials solar filter and case. And on the right, of course, you see the filter is, uh, it fits nicely on the Sea Star. All right, so here we have a comparison using the Sea Star's two times magnification. All right, the image on the left or the video except on the left uh, was you was taken using the stock ZWO uh, filter and the one on the right utilized the Astro Essentials solar filter. Now here we have a final image of uh, the sun. Um, now note the sunspots were captured at one day apart from each other. The one on the left, of course, is the Sea Star solar filter, and the one on the right utilized the uh, Astro Essentials Beta uh, material filter. All right, so what I did, I tried to, book, to get the most out of each capture, uh, trying to get as much of both the surface detail and the sunspot detail. And that's why I believe, honestly, that um, um, your, well, let me just say this, your results can vary depending on a number of factors. Your seeing conditions, um, that it also includes how much wind you're, you're getting at that day as well. As you know, the Sea Star is a pretty light uh, mount. But overall, I think the Astro Essentials filter um, does a great job. Now here we have a comparison using the magnification uh, options in the C star. And I think that you can see, especially in the 2X magnification, we have a better view um, of the overall surface detail, the areas around the sunspots, as well as across the surface of the sun as well. Now this image uh, is just a result of stacking and using IMPPG. Both are free software that you can use for processing your um, solar system imaging. Here is a uh, final image that's processed um, using Photoshop with the Luminar plugin. And here is the um, same image, of course, with the area regions identified um, all courtesy of spaceweather.com. Well, folks, that pretty much uh, is the end of the uh, today's presentation on the Astro Essentials uh, solar filter. I think that you'll find this filter a great addition to your accessories for the ZWO C-Star. And take care, folks, in clear skies. We'll see you.